to my video. My name is Maggie Hardy and today I have a first impressions video for you. I'm very excited to try these products because who isn't excited to try new products, right? The products I'm using today I mentioned in my last video which was a Sephora slash affordable haul. These products are not new by any means but they are new to me. So I'm very excited and before you leave let's go ahead and subscribe to my channel right here somewhere and go ahead and push the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. We just scoot on in here a little bit and let's get started. Okay so the first thing that I'm going to do today is I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. Um, I'm very excited to try this and we definitely will see how it goes. So we'll put a couple of squirts on our hand and we'll rub this in and we'll just rub this on the face get it all nice worked in there oh it's very sticky and I love it I really hope that I like this primer so first time trying this is the Milani conceal and perfect foundation I'm in the shade 05a natural beige let's hope so I'm going to do half of my face and we'll see kind of what the coverage is because I've heard this coverage is very good. So first we'll go in with one side of the face and then we'll do the other just so we can kind of get the feel. Now I'm just going to squirt this on. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to just blend this out. Definitely is blending out very easily. Doesn't look like it's drying down very fast. And the coverage is full. It's very full. Okay, so first impression. Uh, this is very full coverage. It is a little bit dark for me. Just a little, not too much. But wow, my skin looks great. So the next thing that I'm gonna try is the concealer. It is a retouch and erase lifting, light lifting concealer. It is also from Milani. I'm excited to test this out. It has a little spongy applicator on it. So we're just gonna squeeze some out. And put this on. We'll do it to conceal, also to highlight, I'm going to bridge my nose for the highlight, on my chin, and on my forehead. So again, I'll take my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to blend this out. I definitely like the color that I picked up. Now let's see how coverage it is. Okay, first impression, I've literally had it on for 10 seconds and I can already see it creasing. Now I'm going to set it with the Kat Von D setting powder. Again, I've never tried this. So we'll just set these in place. That way we don't get no creasing. like the color it don't seem like it's as heavy as the Laura Mercier which might be a good thing so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to actually take a lip mask it's not new it's the it's the Aguave lip mask from bite very good lip mask the cold weather is absolutely destroying my lips and I'm one of those girls 
that has to bite on her lips when they're dry. So the wind and the weather are absolutely destroying my lips right now. Okay, so we're gonna go in and contour. This is not new. I'm going to contour and bronze with the Hula Quickie Contour Stick and the Hula Benefit bronzing powder. We'll just get these cheekbones. So now I'm gonna bronze. I'm gonna take my Morphe M530 brush and I'm just gonna dip it in here, tap the excess off, and with a light hand, just gently set this, set this cream. You know this big four-headed girl's got a chopped his forehead in half. Give our face a little bit of dimension. I'm also going to take this down here. Go a little bit down my neck. Get them jaw bones. And my lip. After that, the next thing that I'm going to try is the, the Milani blush. This one is in Romantic Rose. And we're just going to go in lightly with this because I don't know how it works. And for me, I go right on the little apples, and then I go all the way back to my hairline. It kind of helps add dimension to your contour. And if you go in too heavy handed, like I kind of went on this one, you just bounce it out with your beauty blender, and it will pretty much even it out. That's why you always go in light handed. what first impressions are for so I know that now I know that I need to go in light-handed definitely so for my first impressions eyeshadow today I'm gonna go in with the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette it is the hashtag my holy grail and it is a very beautiful palette my M441 I know y'all can see my mirror I'm sorry, I apologize, but that's the only mirror I got out without having to go like this. So with the, tra with the same blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Transition, which is this color right here. Knock off the access. And we're just gonna lightly, with a light hand, go inside and outside with either windshield motion wipers or circular motions, whichever you think works best for you. That's a pretty transition shade. Okay, so next I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Are You Kidding Me? And I'm going to use a MAC 286 blending brush, and I'm just going to 
pink this one just a little bit lower. Go more into the crease. Also with a light hand. You always want to go in light and go in darker. We want to add the dimension to our eyes without any harsh lines. So you just build it up. intensity that you like but it's also better to go in with a soft hand and a little bit of product than to go in with a heavy hand and a whole bunch of product okay so next I'm going to dip in to the color brownie points just this one right here and I'm gonna use a more defined blending brush this one is actually it's a little flatter and it's a good it gets into the crease very, very well. You have lots of control with it. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna work this deeper down into the crease and onto my lid. And we'll slowly bring this color in deep into the crease. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go back in with my MAC brush and I'm going to blend this out where it kind of sketched itself. Now that I have that, I'm going to go into the color Teddy Bear and I'm going to use a very defined crease brush. This is the M506 and we're going to concentrate this color on the outside V. And again, it's better to go in light-handed. Than it is to go in heavy-handed. And I'll take that color in just a little bit. So after that, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, just any blending brush will do, and just lightly go in very gently light hand in and blend out these colors I mean, we have a seamless blend and it seems like all the dimension falls into place and it's just one big flow and no choppiness okay so after that I'm going to take this color right here crystal and I'm just going to use a smudger brush this is from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'll just grab some of that and we'll put this on the lid. Okay, now we're gonna go into the lower lash line. Um, I've already done one, um, my camera was off. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with this transition shade and we're just going to use a little small smudger brush or a pencil brush. Again, where y'all can see. So we can smoke this out. So while we're smoking this out, let's talk about these shadows. They are very creamy. They blended so well. And I definitely love this palette. Kudos to you, Violet Voss. What has taken me so long to get onto this train? After that, I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go into the color brownie points and I'm just going to tuck this right into the lash line. After that I'm going to go into Bestie and Are You Kidding Me, which is these two right here. I'll blend those together. So now I'm going to go do these 
horrific eyebrows and I'm gonna do them off camera. Okay, now that I have these brows done, who thank goodness, we're gonna go in with the Milani Stay Put 17 Hour Liner. Start in my corner and I'm going to gently, oh, see? Yeah, flip that up like that. Okay, so first impression on this, no, I don't like it. Um, as you can see, it got out of hand. I did the best that I could with what I could work with. I'm used to using a brush, but this, it was very hard and it kept catching onto my skin and I couldn't evenly get it out. So this, no, and it also, it stings my eyeballs. Like, if you can see the redness I have right here, it stung my eye, and it's burning. So, no go for me. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, now that we have all that done, I am going to try out the Maybelline Big Colossal, or the Colossal Big Shot Mascara from Shayla. I'm, I'm very excited to try this. I do really like Maybelline mascaras and I do like the applicator. So let's go ahead and try this out. We're gonna, we're gonna coat our lashes for our falsies. impression on this um, I do like it uh, I would say that I know after you use mascara a couple times it does get a little bit better because of right now it's probably just a little bit watery but once you have it for a little while and you keep using it and playing with it the thicker the consistency of the mascara will become inside the tube so I will definitely keep trying this out and see how I like it so now we're gonna go in with our lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Dodo lashes and they are in the style 309. Yes, Dodo lashes. I feel like the lash, since I got out of hand with the eyeliner, I feel like the lash really helps complement it. So that's very, very good. I got lucky on that part. So I'm gonna go put the other one on off camera and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so now that I have these lashes on, I am going to say that I do like them. Um, they're so dramatic and y'all know I love big dramatic lashes and these are just absolutely stunning. They're light, they're wispy, they're full, they're fluffy. Oh, I just can't get enough of them. So now that we are done with all that, all we have left to do is lips and highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go in strobe lights. Um, this is an 01. I have not tried this out before, so we're just gonna dig into it and go right in. Oh my gosh. I love it. 
This might be my new favorite. Just absolutely beautiful. You can never have too much highlighter. Everybody knows that. So now for lips, I'm gonna also go in with the Milani. Um, I know today I've done a lot of Milani products, but as I, can, as I told y'all, I've never tried her products, so that's why I've been very excited. And we're gonna go in with a more matte lip cream. Looks like so. As y'all know, I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks. And it did dry down pretty quickly. It looks like it will probably dry my lips out even more than they already are, but I am going to try it out a couple times and see how I like it. I am loving the color. The color is absolutely stunning. Um, other than that, everything that I have tried today I like except for the eyeliner. The eyeliner is a no-go. The foundation, my skin looks so good. It looks so great. And everything that I put on top of the foundation worked flawlessly. So kudos to you, Milani. Yay! I really appreciate these products and I'm so glad that I could find a product that I liked for affordable prices. So if y'all have not tried out Milani, definitely go give her a try. Um, I found her at the local Walmart. I know that she is in some targets and you can get her offline. Other than that, I'm not sure where you can get her. So this is the finished look and i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video um, if something worked for me it doesn't mean that it's not gonna work for you and vice versa i think i messed that up if it works for me it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you or if it works for you it might not work for me i got it out longest hit into my life so I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all come back again and I will be having another video. Y'all enjoy your day. Bye.